Gianluca Cimini was fired for disciplinary reasons last year, but then BT filed a criminal complaint accusing him of grave violations of corporate governance. Full reasons for the ruling by the judge will be issued within 15 days. BT Group LONBT has said it was extremely disappointed with a decision at an Italian labor tribunal, which means the former chief executive of its business there has reportedly been awarded around 1 euro and 80 cents MLN in damages for wrongful dismissal. John Luca Cimini was fired for disciplinary reasons last year, but then BT filed a criminal complaint accusing him of grave violations of corporate governance, arising from its investigation of alleged accounting fraud that cost the firm £530 MLN. BT Group has failed to grasp the fibre nettle, says Deutsche Bank. Full reasons for the ruling by the judge will be issued within 15 days. We are extremely disappointed with this decision, a BT spokesman was quoted as writing in an email. He said BT would not comment further until the judgment was available. Reed Morgan Stanley thinks BT shares look cheap on assume of the parts valuation, but cautious about stepping in too early. BT can appeal the ruling but must immediately pay the damages, which could then be potentially recouped if the decision is overturned. It was also ordered to pay Gimini's legal fees. Register here to be notified of future BT, a company articles view BT, a profile view profile no investment advice the company is a publisher. You understand and agree that no content published on the site constitutes a recommendation that any particular security, portfolio as securities, transaction, or investment strategy is suitable or advisable for any specific person. You further understand that none of the information providers or their affiliates will advise you personally concerning the nature, potential, advisability, value or suitability of any particular security, portfolio of securities, transaction, investment strategy, or other matter. You understand that the site may contain opinions from time to time with regard to securities mentioned in other products, including company-related products, and that those opinions may be different from those obtained by using another product related to the company. You understand and agree that contributors may write about securities in which they are their firms have a position, and that they may trade such securities for their own account. In cases where the position is held at the time of publication and such position is known to the company, appropriate disclosure is made. However, you understand and agree that at the time of any transaction that you make, one or more contributors may have a position in the securities written about. You understand that price or other data is supplied by sources believed to be reliable, that the calculations herein are made using such data, and that neither such data nor such calculations are guaranteed by these sources, the company, the information providers or any other person or entity, and may not be complete or accurate. From time to time, reference may be made in our marketing materials to prior articles and opinions we have published. These references may be selective, may reference only a portion of an article or recommendation, and are likely not to be current. As markets change continuously, previously published information and data may not be current and should not be relied upon. See more related videos Copyright Proactive Investors 2017 Proactive Investor UK Limited Trading as Proactive Investors United Kingdom is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. Registered in England with company registration number 0563969. Group VAT registration number 872,070,825 FCA registration number 559,082. You can contact us here. Market indices, commodities and regulatory news headlines copyright copyright Morningstar. Data delayed 15 minutes unless otherwise indicated. Terms of use.